Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex and today we're going to take a look at the class of 1939. This is Principal Vivian Gaither and the yearbook is dedicated to Mr. Wayne Hamilton, head of the English department. Overcrowding at Hillsborough High continues, and it has a record number of new pupils. ROTC continues to be very active. This girl has a dozen photographers taking pictures of her. Hillsborough is still playing its home games at Phillips Field, but there are plans for improvements to the athletic field at Hillsborough High. The National Youth Administration has offered free labor and discussions for the materials needed for the athletic field have begun. A new football design is beginning to be used and it is said to give the punters greater distance. Late one October night, thieves were trying to break into the ROTC armory. They managed to break the padlocks, but then were frightened away and made their escape. The Mercury statue is at the entrance below the clock tower at this time, and the Hebe statue is in the trophy room. Danish naval cadets visited the Big Red and may have helped inspire the yearbook's theme. The basketball team had a good season. In January, they played a game against Tampa College to benefit the Infantile Paralysis Fund. In February, Chuck Taylor came to the HHS gym. He is the great basketball player whose name is on the iconic basketball shoe used for generations. There was an April Fool's edition of the Red and Black called In the Red and How, reflecting the difficult economic conditions. Also in April, a midnight prankster flooded the second floor of Hillsborough High School using a fire hose. The jitterbug was the rage and a dance was held in the gym, but there was so much wax on the floor, everyone kept falling down. At this time, the school system was running out of money and the school year would end early despite an attempt to raise money via a voluntary tuition fee. A record-setting large class graduated in mid-May 1939. Over the summer, Hillsborough High School would begin the transition from a numeral to an alphabet grading system. Work began on the athletic field by the NYA and Jefferson Junior High would begin a transition to Jefferson Senior High to alleviate congestion at the Big Red. As for who all those midnight intruders were, only the shadow knows. And I gotta go, but please subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my HHS videos. Take care of each other and as always, Go Big Red!